St Paul's Cathedral is one of the best known landmarks and one of the finest works of architecture in the City of London. Built on the highest point of the city and dominating the London skyline with its famous dome, the present day cathedral is the fifth to stand on the site. Built on the site of a Roman temple dedicated to fertility goddess Diana, the cathedral's crypt contains over 200 memorials and notable burials include Admiral Lord Nelson, the Duke of Wellington and poet John Donne. With its fascinating history and turbulent past, it is not surprising that the cathedral is said to be haunted. According to legend, the body of King Henry VI lay in state at St Paul's after his mysterious death at the Tower of London in 1471. This gentle and pious king had been murdered whilst kneeling in prayer in the upper chamber of the Wakefield Tower. His assassin is said to be Richard, the Duke of Gloucester, who went on to become the infamous King Richard III. Whilst his body rested in the cathedral, it began to bleed. A murdered man would bleed in the presence of his killers according to popular belief at the time, thus proving he had not died of natural causes. In 1910, Henry VI's body was exhumed from St George's Chapel, Windsor. His light brown hair was found matted with blood on the skull, suggesting he had indeed died of violence. In 1561, the cathedral was struck by lightning, destroying the 489-foot spire and starting another blaze. At the time, people interpreted this as a sign from God, indicating displeasure at the king and the newly formed Church of England. According to records, one of the conspirators of the gunpowder plot, Henry Garnet, was hanged, drawn and quartered in the churchyard of St Paul's. During the Civil War, Cromwell's troops burnt the pews and the furniture, resulting in the roof falling in after the scaffolding was sold. At the extreme west end of the cathedral, on the ground floor of the northwest tower, lies the Kitchener Memorial Chapel, previously known as All Souls Chapel. Dedicated to the memory of Field Marshal Lord Kitchener and to the servicemen killed in World War I, the chapel contains an effigy of Kitchener with its feet pointing towards an altar in the east. Near Kitchener's head are the figures of St George and St Michael, both military saints, who stand vigil over the effigy. Kitchener's body is not actually in the cathedral, as he was lost at sea in 1916 during military service. The apparition that reputedly haunts this area is that of an elderly clergyman, a former official of the cathedral. Appearing in old-fashioned clerical dress from a time long ago and with long grey hair, the phantom has a fondness for whistling. Members of staff, worshippers and tourists have heard his high-pitched whistling melody and some staff report that he follows them, whistling loudly and abruptly to annoy them. It is reported that he whistles more frequently and loudly in the Kitchener Chapel before disappearing into the stone wall. During structural repairs in the chapel, a hidden doorway was discovered concealed into the stonework in the very spot where the figure was seen to disappear. On opening the door, a narrow winding staircase and hidden passageway were revealed, just one of the many long forgotten secret passages and stairways at St Paul's. Nobody knows who the ghost is and why he haunts St Paul's. In 2008, a tourist visiting the cathedral took a series of photographs. When they were examined, she was shocked to see what looks like a blurry image of a clergyman walking through the cathedral. She was adamant that there was nobody there at the time. Sitting proudly in the city of London, Smithfield Market has been the location of a meat market for over 800 years. It's thought its name comes from Smooth Field, and its open space just beyond the city wall was used for a range of public events, including jousting tournaments, horse racing, duels, the famous Bartholomew Fair and public executions. The area of East Smithfield was used as a plague pit for the victims of bubonic plague that claimed the lives of many thousands of Londoners around 1348. Excavations show that the grave site was two hectares in size and is thought to be one of the first established Black Death cemeteries in London. With such a rich historical association, tales of suffering and death, it is understandable that the area is said to be haunted. 
Over the centuries, hundreds were executed in this area. In a location known as the Elms on St Bartholomew's Eve in 1305, William Wallace, also known as Braveheart, the Scottish patriot who fought to liberate Scotland from English rule, was executed along with his servant and two of his Scottish knights. Wallace was hanged, drawn and quartered, and his head was placed on a spike on London Bridge. One of the most brutal executions included a cook named Richard Roos, who met his fate at Smithfields in 1530. Accused of high treason for attempting to poison the Bishop of Rochester, Roos was symbolically boiled alive in a cauldron in front of onlookers. In May 1538, John Forrest, a friar from Greenwich, was executed for denying the supremacy of Henry VIII. His bizarre execution saw him caged and roasted to death over a fire. Some of the hauntings are said to be related to the grisly and hideous deaths in this location, but many are linked to a latter period in history, stemming from the reign of the Tudor Queen, Queen Mary, whose numerous and terrifying religious persecutions earned her the name Bloody Mary. Under Bloody Mary's reign, approximately 270 people were executed by burning for heresy, many at Smithfield. Mary, the daughter of Henry VIII, sought to restore Catholicism to her country after her father had separated England from the Roman Catholic Church. At her command, Protestants were declared as heretics and duly burned at the stake. According to legend, Queen Mary would not allow green wood to be used in the burnings in case the smoke suffocated the victims before they'd suffered the full horror of the flames. The burnings would take place opposite the entrance of St Bartholomew the Great, the victim facing east, and the prior would often be present. In 1849, during excavations to install a sewer, charred human bones and ash were discovered three feet below the road surface. A memorial to the martyrs now stands nearby, on the wall of St Bartholomew's Hospital. Late at night, those walking through the area have allegedly heard disturbing, anguished screams, prayers and singing, as well as the sound of ghostly wood burning and crackling. Accompanying this is the smell of burning flesh, which is described as sickly and stinking. Could these be imprints? of energy from the countless victims of the plague and the many executions that took place in this area. <laughs>